Hey everybody, we're having this art contest for COVID safety and it's a school-wide contest. There's going to be some great prizes and your group will be um, judged by um, either grades four and five together or six, seven, and eight together. So um, some things to think about. What kind of messages could we send our community to try to help keep everybody safe? Um, look through the slideshow that I've given you about how other artists have created work that help raise awareness about how to stay safe during COVID. First, we could try to brainstorm some ideas and things that we could say. Here I stole the Nike logo. Instead of just do it, I wrote just wear it, and I made two people wearing a mask. So um, after you look through the slideshow, you might get some more ideas about how other artists might interpret um, this message. I was thinking another idea would be to put people all over the world, maybe um, six feet apart or wearing masks, something like that. You could just have an image or you could just have words, either one or combine them. You could either start with your image and then fit your words around it or start with your words and then fit your image inside it. When you are doing lettering though, it's important to make the letters neat and legible so that everyone can read it. If you're gonna go through the trouble of making a sign, it doesn't make any sense if people can't read the sign. So one little tip is to get a ruler and line it up. You could hold your paper horizontally or vertically. This is vertically or horizontally. Um, the first thing I would think to do is think about what idea or message you wanna send across. Um, you could say things like, wear a mask when you go in somebody else's house or stay six feet apart. Um, these are things that you guys have learned and heard over and over again this fall. So hopefully you can come up with some, some good phrases. And when you're lining up a straight line, here's a little trick. If the side of the ruler is exactly the same lined up with the side of the paper, you'll be able to make a straight line. Of course, always look and see if it looks straight to you. You're the one that's going to determine that. And this is where my, line, my letters are going to exist within these lines. So these guidelines, you wanna draw them light so that you could erase them later. And each letter will go from the top to the bottom, top to the bottom, so that all the letters are the same height, uh, if they were capital, and if they are also lowercase, they would fall in um, the same level as well. If you're making lowercase, you can maybe come through and make another light guideline in here so you know how tall to make them. So let's just, um, let's just say the word phrase stay home just, so, just because I want to be able to fit it. I'm going to try to see how big I can make my letters so that they fit across the page. So stay home is eight letters. Sometimes it helps to write it out on a piece of paper first and count your letters. That's what I usually do. So I, I count them in the space in between. So I've got nine. So now I'm going to try to fit nine letters across here. Um, this is pretty easy. I can basically divide it in half and think four letters here, four letters there. And um, I also sometimes when I'm taking it to another level, I cut a little piece of paper the size of the letter and then count the spaces. One, two, three, four space. One, two, three, four. Uh, it would be tight if they were this big. Maybe I'll make it a little smaller and see. One, two, three, four, space, one, two, three, four. Okay, if I make my letters this big, I can fit them across the page. Um, if you don't wanna go through cutting out a piece of paper, uh, just try to draw lightly until you get it right. So I'm gonna do capitals and lowercase, starting over here. So the lowercase would only come up to the middle line. And actually, capital letters take up more space than the lowercase. So, see right here I can see that I'm glad I drew them lightly because I planned for capitals. I planned for bigger letters. So I'm going to go back and do capitals instead. Now, if you want to make these into block letters, I'll show you how to make them fatter or bubble letters. And we could even add some shadowing if you were interested in just doing letters. You might want to th think about adding some shadows to give them a 3D look. 
It's fun to learn how to add shadows to letters and give them more dimension. Okay, here's my stay home sign. Now, if I wanted to make it into block letters, what I can do is um, on the outside of each letter, come and make a mirror of that letter. So the T, I could just make it thicker on, a little thicker on both sides. And the A, come make it thicker in the bottom. Kind of see what makes sense for each letter. Here's the Y, I'll make it thicker on one side and then here. H should be pretty easy. See how I'm turning these into thicker letters just by adding a mirrored line. Some letters are easier than others to turn into block letters. Okay, and it looks like only really the T would need to have um, a little line erased, maybe a little bit in here. Okay, so we've got our block letters now. If you wanna focus on shading them, you would pick a light source, like pretend the light's coming from over here, and then we could come in with a thick line on this side of every letter and I'm going on the right side of each line of the letter to create the illusion that these are 3D letters. And I'm using my pencil on the side. If you also had like a black or a gray marker, this would be a great time to use something like that because it'd be nice and dark and give it depth. So the light's coming from over here. I'm just making it up. <clears throat> Here's the curvy lines. The curvy letters sometimes are a little tr more tricky. So we do it on the outside. Now we'd also do it here. And it just kind of fades out around the, the top of the circle. See how these letters are looking a little bit more 3D now? Just by choosing one side to add a shadow. Art is an illusion and we are creating an illusion that this is a 3D letter, it has depth. And just take a close look at your letters. If it doesn't look right, it probably isn't. So go ahead and ask someone else, maybe um, like your teacher, if something's looking a little off to them and maybe they can help you. All right, so we've got some 3D letters now, great. Let's go on to decide what kind of image could we put that would show stay home? Well, I think the most obvious one is probably a house and with some people maybe inside the house. So that would be a really simple thing to draw. Um, you could look at pictures of houses. You could draw your own house or apartment. I'm gonna just start with a trapezoid for a roof. Trapezoids are such great shapes for a number of illusions. One of them being um, roofs of houses or the bottom of, if you flip it upside down, it looks like a boat. And here's just a very simple house. So we wanna give this a little bit of character. Maybe we'll make the windows a little bigger than they normally would be. So we could add some people inside. This is just one idea. I'm just trying to show you how to kind of map it out and decide. Um, we really want a lot of participation here. So I'm really hoping that you guys can get behind this and make a couple posters. This is um, Nurse Coogan's idea. She was hoping to get these posters out into our community, um, in the newspaper. We can make color copies of them and put them around. And so hopefully if everyone can start to follow these guidelines, then we'll be able to stay in school, we'll be able to keep the rates low on our island. Um, while you're looking through the slideshow, hopefully it'll give you some ideas. One of the pictures is from Australia, and they draw a picture of Australia and ask to keep COVID out. So that's another thing you could think about is drawing Martha's Vineyard. That seems like a very popular image that no one seems to be tired of do a picture of the island and then how the island can stay safe. So here we've got a house, we've got stay home. I'm sure you can think of some other things to add to things like this. Please think of your own message. And then you can proceed to 
color it in with any colors of your choice. We want them to be bright and colorful. Um, if I had done this again, I think I would have made it much bigger um, so that it's really more emphasized. Right now, this is a little bit too small. I think I should have made it about this big because this is the main idea in the poster and then create a lot of bright colors so that it really stands out. Good luck, boys and girls.